Mars is populated, but I'm not gonna say aliens because it's not aliens. No, in fact, Mars has a population of seven, all robots. There are no humans on the surface of Mars just yet, but there will be, and you and I are gonna see it. We've all seen movies about humans stepping foot on Mars, but never one as dedicated to the science as The Martian, based on a novel by Andy Weir. In the film, astronaut Mark Watney is stranded on the Red Planet and has to science the crap out of his environment to survive. But before we worry about using our own poop to grow potatoes in the Martian soil, we actually have to put humans on that soil. First, think of how far we've come. If anyone is gonna get us to Mars safely and reliably, it's probably going to be NASA. They even have a plan called Journey to Mars, and it's already begun. The first digital images of Mars were beamed back 13 light minutes to us from the Mariner 4 spacecraft, and it made its first successful flyby of the Red Planet all the way back in July of 1965. Now fast forward 47 years and over 30 missions later, and the 2,000 pound rover named Curiosity is going through its seven minutes of terror above the Martian surface, eventually landing on August 6, 2012, and it's still doing science up there. In other words, we've come a very, very long way, but we've still got a ways to go. Here's NASA's timeline for getting your asses to Mars. The first steps towards the first steps on Mars have already been taken. Last December, the Orion capsule, which is part of the Orion spacecraft, a spacecraft that will take us farther out into space than anything before it aboard a new launch system, was successfully tested, left Earth, and crashed down into the ocean four and a half hours later. Now, let's start the timeline. In 2016, NASA will launch its InSight lander, which will land on on the Martian surface that September and start studying Mars's deep interior and geology. Then in 2018, NASA will send an unmanned Orion capsule into orbit around the moon atop the SLS, or Space Launch System, the largest such launch system ever created, able to put out an astonishing 8.4 million pounds of thrust. In 2019, NASA will send a spacecraft on ARM, or the Asteroid Redirect Mission, to capture an asteroid and to bring it into orbit around the moon sometime in the early 2020s. All all of this is set up for the first Martians. Following in the tread prints of Curiosity, in 2020, NASA will send another rover, Mars 2020, to the Red Planet to search for life, or to try to make the most important discovery ever, ever. Then in the mid-2020s, NASA will first test and then send astronauts in the Orion spacecraft aboard the SLS into orbit around the moon to examine the asteroid that ARM recovered and then return with samples. And that's all we have planned for now. The next theoretical steps would be to master solar power propulsion and to create some kind of in-space habitat where Martian astronauts could go and prepare before actually stepping foot on the red planet. At least if NASA's journey to Mars graphic is anything to go by. But that might not be so far away either, as NASA says that we will become Martians in the year 2035. That's not so far away. If NASA can intertwine science and exploration and technology in just the right way, there will be Martians in the next 20 years. Just think about it. The first humans to step foot on another planet have already been born and are just waiting to be humanity's greatest explorers. Unless Elon Musk can get us there in the next 10 years, which he claims, and then forget most of what I just said. Why? Because... Musk? Want more science? Check out my last video on the most important scientific theory in Rick and Morty. Subscribe to Nerdist for more videos. If you want Because Science two days earlier than everyone else, head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash Nerdist. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, you can hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks.